officially goodbye Colorado. We're in Wyoming. get to Montana. We're going through the Grand Tetons and then Yellowstone. At last, our road brought us to the mythical land of Yellowstone. But before we crossed those borders, we stopped in to the old trapper's town known as Jackson to fill our tanks. A place built on old Western sensibilities we were surprised to find people here doing things differently. I've always been drawn to new and innovative ideas. One reason why I always make sure to visit every great local brewery. For they contain people who spread ideas and execute them in the most unlikely of places. Human beings who seem able to turn nearly anything into art. So Vertical Harvest is the first uh, vertical hydroponic greenhouse in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, it was designed because um, Jackson has such a short grow season. Wow. So then we were able to get a piece of land. The only piece of land available was one tenth of an acre next to the parking garage. And uh, they designed it to maximize so we can do about five acres on one tenth of an acre. It took about eight years to kind of get it from idea to fully blown in built. So a caseworker for people with disabilities actually reached out when she heard about it. And oh. she um, asked if they'd be willing to hire people with different abilities. And and so we also have a social mission of providing meaningful employment for people with different abilities and so educating awesome. people about disability awareness and kind of changing how people <laughs> think about um, employment for people with yeah. um, different abilities. This life on the road has been one of the easiest and hardest things I've ever done. It gave me complete control over my existence and complete responsibility for it too. Gone are the days of a safe and structured routine. In its place is an exhilarating, terrifying, challenging, wonderful unknown set of events after another. People always ask us, where will you go? What will you do? Why are you going? And the only answer that feels truthful is, I don't know. What? What is it? What? What? What is it? A huge storm rolled in from uh, the Tetons over there and it was like blown all over. Now we're just uh, getting some dope shots. <laughs> In today's world of your truth and my truth, did we leave out the possibility of simply not knowing? We all live in such a tiny little bubble, adrift in a bottomless ocean. How can any one being be so absolutely sure of himself? I'm not. Can any of us be? Corpo's trying to run away. We are about to make dinner. I'm gonna make miso soup. Another free campground, thank you to Iowa Verlander. Um, we're not sponsored by them, I don't think they make any money, but if they do, sponsor us. <laughs> Thank you.
Yellowstone, a land of nearly 3,500 square miles, which sits atop a massive supervolcano unfolded before our eyes. With its still active volcano system, an eruption from it would cover the entire United States in ash. Instead, columns of steam rise from bubbling caldera pools, a combination of underground springs and subterranean liquid magma. Some of these pools are so hot and acidic that in 2016, a man fell into one and dissolved in mere seconds. It's a miracle! Oddly enough, it is the mysterious and barely understood organisms which made the pool boil with acid in the first place. Bacteria often trivialized as just the germs on your hands. In scientific circles today, microbiologists estimate around 90% of organisms on Earth are considered dark matter. We do not know what, why, or how they even are. To put it in perspective, on a genetic family tree, humans and the corn plant would be leaves on the same small branch. Bacteria would be located on the opposite end of that tree. In fact, they'd be the whole rest of the tree, including the entire root system. So we're literally gonna have three geysers, all in one, uh, one, two, and Old Faithful is three, coming up right away. These are microorganisms which can hitch rides on asteroids and survive the dead of space. Which is ironic because the ecosystem which supports the human life form is so very fragile. And that's the incredible thing about scientific discovery. The more we learn, the more we discover an infinite number of unknowns. Like the greatest unknown of this age. Will humans be around a decade from now? A recent United Nations study reported that we only have 10 measly years to entirely turn around our damage to the planet before the runaway effects are impossible to reverse. That means our resilient bacterial friends may be the last living creatures on this planet. Until another billion years and million little miracles pave the way for the next conscious life form. To me, that is entirely unacceptable. The great unknown universe simply cannot wait that long to be understood. So, who then can save Earth in so short a time? I don't know, but I will find them. Approaching the last few hours in Yellowstone, we only have a day here and we wish we could spend a month. We're back on the road to Montana. Um, we're gonna be headed to Billings and then uh, dropping off Mr. Guapo. This is the last few days with us, so we're pretty sad. Um, but we'll keep you guys updated with all the latest adventures. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and please share this with a friend. It would mean the world to us. Peace, love you all.